Hello everyone and welcome to Paper and Moose. As you can see by the pile by me, it is mail day. If mail is not your thing, then please go over to my playlist and you will be able to choose from a plethora of other videos that I have out and other adventures that I have gone on. But if you like mail and you enjoy seeing what all of my lovely and so kind, 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 kind doesn't even express how kind, <laughs> my viewers are um, such wonderful all the things my wonderful viewers have sent me then you are in the right video and we have a lot so maybe make some coffee put on a pot of hot water for tea grab some baked good and let's get ready to open some mail <laughs> that has sent mail thank you so much I always say that I cannot thank you enough for the kindness that you have shown to me and to my channel and it is much appreciated and for those whose mail I will not be opening in this mail video stay tuned because I will have another mail video coming out shortly first things first I had opened this prior and Kevin from Commonwealth Pickers told me to wait until it was closer to the holiday season and open it then. If you do not know who Kevin is from Commonwealth Pickers, be sure to head out over to his show. He also has two little children, maybe not so little, <laughs> Regan and Turner, and they are pros at the eBay business. So you can check them out at Homeschool Hustlers. So Kevin writes, I saw this at a sale on Thought of You. The sale is on our channel, Garage Sale deal Deals. These folks are ready to sell. My family loves your channel. And thank you, Kevin. He finds the best stuff. Truth here, I am so, so, so far behind in watching other YouTubers' channels. Probably as far behind as I am in getting my Etsy listings done. <laughs> so I have many, many videos to catch up on, with Kevin's being one of them. But yes, go on, head on over to Commonwealth Picker, and you can see all the great things he finds at yard sales. So, oh, ooh, this is great. It is a moose flag, which I do not have one. So this will look great outside um, during this fall and winter season coming up. I love it. Thank you so much, Kevin. And Commonwealth Picker, Commonwealth Flipper, Homeschool Hustlers, and Blue Ridge Mama. They have the market cornered on YouTube. <laughs> Next, from our good friend Larry up in Canada. Larry was the first person to have ever sent me mail the Heinz 57 collection. I remember that video very well. I was in a hotel room at the kitchen table. I was away for work and I thought, hey, I need something fun to do on the weeknights while I'm at these meetings during the day. So let me bring some viewer mail and that is what I did. Oh my. Now, Larry had said, be sure you open this before Halloween. I did not. <laughs> but do not worry. Um, it's actually probably better um, because this year, unfortunately, I did not decorate for Halloween. Uh, my schedule has been all over the place. And, um, you know, with editing, work, YouTube, reselling, it has kind of gotten it's become a mishmash so, I, mishmash, so I just did not have time to decorate for Halloween this year. But with that being said, moving forward, I'm actually going to try, not try, organize my holiday collections and also, um, you know, kind of purge them out. Some decor that I have have had for years and I never put out, I want to, you know, move that along so I can have more room for all the fun treasures you all send me. So we have some cute earrings with ghosts and pumpkins. Another set of clip-ons. Ooh, they light up. No, they don't. I thought they did. Great necklaces that do light up. I actually did go trick-or-treating. My little cousin, I thought she was going to... Ooh, that's neat. It's a ring. My little cousin, I thought she was going to just play trick-or-treat on Roblox this year because she loves Roblox. But we actually went trick-or-treating, and it was a lot of fun. There's a witch. So just a whole assortment. Oh, this little scarecrow one is so cute. 
That's a Hallmark. That's adorable. He can actually go out for, oh, there's two of them. He can actually go out for the fall. And this little guy as well. Boop. As some say, Halloween is year round. So thank you, Larry. Hope all is well up in Canada. There's actually two packages from William out in Reading. So hello to Pencil, a Pennsylvanian right across the, the river, the Delaware. Let's see if I can find one that has the letter. Maybe it's this one. Reuse this. Pam, oh, here we go. Pam, you met my son John last week at Leesport and we know he collected ephemera. Yes, they gave me some books and some other great items. Oh, I think bottle brush trees too. So here are a few things we thought you would appreciate. We enjoy our YouTube videos and would like to recommend you visit Jake's Flea Market in Bardo on Route 100 south of Allentown on Sundays. I have been to Jake's once and I think they're open year round. I'm not sure. I will have to expand my flea market going since my ooh, usual flea market is now closed for the season. <gasps> this is nice. Oh my, we have Valentine's. I like this. It's very folksy. House of Hat in 1991. I really like that though. That's very pretty. Just a nice folksy kind of Christmas piece. Simple, but, but nice. Let's put this down here. I want to be the chief interest in your life, Valentine. <laughs> We have some other, oh, Merry Christmas 1944, during the war. That was from France. We have another Valentine card, Christmas card, 1938. And they have another package that they sent. Let's open that up. I can reuse these, so thank you. Oh, how nice whole bunch. Washington's reception on the bridge at Trenton. Oh, they're from a calendar. Oh, she's cute. The punishment. <laughs> nope, she's giving her dolly punishment. Oh, and she's so sad. She's pretty. Goldilocks. Her hair. I'm really, really struggling, lady and a puppy, with my hair. I miss my short hair. Like really, really, really miss it, but don't know what I'm going to do. But thank you, William and Larry. I don't know if these port is open still. Let me know in the comments below. Of course, I can always Google it too. If it is, perhaps I will be able to get out there again before it closes for the winter. On to the next. Dear Paper and Moose, enclosed you will find items that span several decades. I hope you enjoy them. The party, the party planning guide screamed your name at a garage sale in a small town, Iowa. For 25 cents, I couldn't pass up this gem from 1940. I'm sure I would have bought it as well. I know how much you love Christmas and these songbooks from the 1950s and 60s hopefully add to your Christmas collection. I'm going to start decorating for Christmas hopefully this week into the weekend. Fingers crossed. The Aunt Estelle paper doll was found in a binder with 1980s stuff. Not sure of the exact date. The paper dolls are from the 1970s and were mine. Aw, they were well played with. Thought you might find a use for them instead of throwing them out. Your channel has renewed my interest in scrapbooking and locating old family pictures. Keep up the good work. A friend in Iowa. Well, thank you, friend in Iowa. I still need to scrapbook. <laughs> I used to scrapbook all my photos from my trips. And let me tell you, that took months. I'm, I'm not kidding you. Months. Oh, look how fun. Barbie, six paper dolls and their clothes. Those are really fun. <gasps> These are in great condition for being well played with. Oh. This is Christy. Whoops, her outfit fell off. We have Christy and Stacy. And all their clothes. Oh, look at this girl. Oh, there's Barbie. Look at this dress. 
That's pretty nice. These are great. And the fact that you still have the, the little binder and booklet makes it really cool. I had a few paper dolls, but I was a big Barbie person, kid, growing up. They were pretty much all I played with. And My Little Ponies. We have a Christmas Community Songbook. We have a classic Choir Boys. Christmas Carols. Oh, I'm so excited for Christmas. Showers, Announcements, and Anniversaries. Hmm. Oh, it's... How to do... It's all different parties and things you can make. A booty luncheon. Showers for babies. Now, I don't even know if we can have all these fun activities like we used to. I think you can. You just have to be careful. That's a fun book. And then Anne Estelle. Firecracker Annie feels so pretty. Dainty new undies and breezy summer togs. We'll do that for a girl. <laughs> what are togs? Shoes? Breezy summer togs. Clothing? Clothing. We're gonna go with clothing. Perhaps some of my British friends can help me with that. So thank you so much, friend in Iowa. Hope things are good in your state. And that if you're able to get out and do some thrifting, yard sale hunting, all the best. This is from Carol out in Oklahoma. Dear Renee, I found these while I was thrifting and thought of you. What do people do with all the paper they buy? A variety of things. Um, they craft with it. They just collect it. They put it away and save it for a rainy day or they sell it use it as decor. So the list goes on and on. Morris the Moose. Oh, look how cute he is. <laughs> oh, crazy Critter Adventures in Yellowstone. Oh boy, I'm gonna have to read that one. Oh man, now they're all on the, they're all on the geysers. Mosquitoes, a moose family reunion. <laughs> And this is a moose. Yeah, look at him. Or is it? Uh-oh. One moose, one dream, one rip-roaring story. Oh, boy. Well, thank you so much, Carol. I have to do some light reading on my days off. Whenever that would be. Alrighty. Now this is from MJ out in New York. Nesconet, Nesconset, sorry. Oh, cool. I'll show you the book then. Um, Dear Renee, I discovered your channel while watching Taco Stacks. I appreciate how you are a fan of history. Recently, I sent Taco a copy of my latest, oh, my latest historical novel, The Heart of Vel Veltry. Oh, I said that right as I thought you might enjoy reading the story as well. Ooh, the story is based on my father's life and experiences while fighting in Italy during World War II. Please accept a copy of the book as a small token of my appreciation for your channel and as a fellow history buff. I wish you continued success with Paper and Moose. Stay healthy and well. Well, thank you so much, Michael. Hopefully I pronounced that correctly. I mean, you know, I studied history. I actually, I think I may have mentioned this in another video. I have a master's degree in Holocaust and genocide studies as I really enjoyed, still enjoy learning about World War II um, with a focus on the Holocaust. I had wanted to be a professor, but I was not accepted into the doctorate program, which I think looking back now is probably a good thing because I still have grad school loan to pay off. <laughs> but I love the personal stories and the personal aspect, such as what would be in this book from World War II. So battle names, types of weaponry, all that stuff I'm very, very bad at, which some people don't consider being, you know, a historian then. So Michael Kerningsman, German is a police officer and the son of a World War II veteran. Michael spends his life investigating how his father is wounded in battle, left for dead, and nearly buried alive during the Italian campaign. His father, Gene, won't reveal what had happened to him while overseas. 
a common common occurrence, unfortunately. Michael was fascinated when he learns that his late grandfather, Alphonse, was a gangster during the Great Depression. Also, Alphonse was a veteran of World War I. Michael's journey begins with him trying to discover how his father survived the war and came home to lead the life of a devout Catholic, rather than be influenced by the criminal lifestyle of his father. Ooh. At the end of his life, Jean tells Michael his story. This is great. I'm really looking forward to reading this. Thank you so much for sending this to me. This will be on my on my list to start reading now. I did travel to Italy. I was in Florence many years ago, and I went to the Florence American Cemetery where American soldiers were buried, and it was probably my favorite experience of that whole trip because I thought how fortunate I was to be able to be over in Italy visiting all these soldiers who... You know, their family most likely could never go over there and visit their son, their father, uncle, cousins, brothers, graves. And so, you know, I didn't take my visit lightly. I went there with a purpose to walk around and, you know, read the inscriptions on the stones, read the names, and just really, you know, pay my respects to these, these soldiers that gave their life for our country during the war. So thank you so much, Michael. I'm really looking forward to reading that book. Next, we have a big in from Julie out in Fort Worth, Texas. Oh boy. All right, we're gonna do some maneuvering here. My unwrapping skills. Renee, I found these beauties while picking through an attic clean out at the curb. Huh. The scrapbook is my favorite, but the other has equally interesting pieces. I don't have room for more treasure at this time. <laughs> Do we all really have more room for treasure? But we still get it. Um, so I thought you may enjoy or find it a proper home. Thanks, and I enjoy your channel, Julie. An attic clean out at the curb. Oh. My garbage picking has been sad lately, but I still persevere. The classic scrapbook. You see this all over, but the contents inside are always different. Ooh! We have a shell. Oh, serving ribbon guide. A surface ribbon guide. That will help me. Boston, Massachusetts postcards. Join Thrifty's B&G Hosiery Club. Oh my gosh, that is awesome. Ooh, aphrodisia. Naughty as a net stocking, frivolous as a satin garter. <laughs> this is awesome. Oh, this was perfume. And this was scented. You know what I would say, this will look great on a shirt. That is so cool. Oh, so this looks like it might be a World War II scrapbook. This was a regis registration certificate for 1941. Drafties off for a long, hard war. Boys leave for war. Oh my goodness. A menu. Dancing night at Nolly. Swiss sausage salad. <sighs> Pottage St. Malo. Spaghetti bolognese. Kingfish. Parsley potatoes. Buttered garden peas. Ice cream. Kenya cheese and biscuits. Hmm. I'm gonna have to go through this. Oh, I can't believe they would throw this out. 100, 1611th Cores, Cores, Cores Area Service Unit in Fort Sheridan. Jack Dempsey's. Oh my goodness. Patience property card. This is amazing. There's Western Union in here. Five day extension granted. Oh my goodness. Thank you for saving this from the trash. I'm gonna have to take a, a really good look at everything in there. When I think of all the things that, where are my scissors? I know I put them here somewhere. Here they are. When I think of all the things that have been Toss to the landfill. 
can make you cry. But I will not do that on my channel. <laughs> oh my goodness. Holy moly. Ah, oh, the telltale sign of a scrapbook. Yeah, well, those little brown particles everywhere of paper. <laughs> I just have to do some vacuuming. This is amazing. My little blue storybook. Oh my goodness. Get the vacuum out. Ballroom dances. Now looking at all these would take up a whole video in itself. Bulletin of the Guild of Catholic Psychiatrist. That's probably a good read. Scottish Women's Rural Institute's Handbook, Part 2. Huh. Interesting. We have some sheet music. Oh, my goodness. Oh, look at that picture. It says 1929. On the motorcycle. That's awesome. Oh, I will have to look at all these. There's a lot. Let's just see what this scrapbook is. There's some shoes and, oh, those shirts. Military Japan silk blouse, a dollar. Give me a hundred. I would love to travel back in time. Just to spend a couple of days. Ooh. Man picks up cash cache of heroin. If you could probably can't see, but this is all newspaper articles that have been cut out and saved. It's just determining what, why did they save these things? Was it one person? Looks like this photo flash was popular. There are some models. Yep. Pretty Sandy Acock wins Miss Mermaid. So it looks like this is, this book is maybe all about beauty pageants and beauty queens. Interesting. Well, thank you, Julie. I really appreciate all that and so glad that you saved that from the trash. I wonder what else you found. I hope you found some goodies that you could keep for yourself because if they were throwing this stuff out, I can only imagine what else they put out. So thank you for sharing it with me. I'll have to take a closer look at the World War II scrapbook. That one looks pretty interesting. Ugh. Next up is Melissa from Longview, Texas. So we have two Texans in the house. This is fun. Oh, look at this. I can see a card. Oh, there is one. That's cute. Look how nice that's made. Now this could be for napkins, but it can also hold paper. I'll put that up there for now. The cute cactus stickers she puts on there. Oh my! Pam, I had picked up this moose napkin letter holder intending to sell on Facebook Marketplace. I then began watching your channel and thought this would be nice to send you. I've also sent a bookmark for you as well as $10 in gas money so you can continue the hunt. Well, thank you so much, Melissa. That was so nice of you. I look forward to each new video. I like the fact that you carefully unveil the previous owner's items with dignity and no judgment. Take care and save. Stay, stay safe. Thanks so much, Melissa. Well, Melissa, thank you. That was so nice that you sent that. Enjoy simple pleasures. I can use this in my new book. But yes, I mean, I, I don't see why there'd be any reason to, you know, 
I'm taking someone's trash. Granted, there are some rules if you look up online that once that bag hits that curb, it is, you know, pretty much free game. Um, it's no longer the, the property of that owner. But, you know, I see it more as saving things from the trash. I'm not here to ridicule someone. I might ask, why would you throw this out? <laughs> or why would you keep this? <laughs> like all those newspaper baggies. But it's more just wondering how they live their lives and, and what made them save something. Because something in that bag of trash, it could have had so much meaning to them. And we look at it and we're like, why, why would you save this slip of paper? You know, perhaps that, that slip of paper had some really personal sentimental reason. Um, and, and we don't know why, but you know, I'm grateful for the trash that I do find and that I'm able to save. And this is really nice. Thank you so much. I can use this for napkins, but I also thought it'd be a great way to hold paper or display paper. Or even you put a little tea light candle in there and whoo, a fake one, of course, not, not a real one. We don't want to burn anything down. <laughs> Alrighty, I have two more to go. This is from Port Alberni, British Columbia, Canada. Let's see. To Pam, thank you for all the wonderful videos you make. We enjoy all of them and seeing all the treasures you find. We have been watching your garbage bag finds and look forward to each one. I wish there were more. I need another garbage bag house. We are sending a couple of gifts, not old, to say thank you. One I made and used um, my life doll clothes to outfit it, and the others came from a store. The doll is a thrifting doll. Thank you and all the best, Linda and Laura. Well, thank you, Linda and Laura. Oh my goodness, she's so cute. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love this. Oh my goodness. <laughs> She is amazing. And she even has little trinkets in here. She has a Christmas tree pin. A pumpkin pin. And there's even a little coin. And she had glasses. <laughs> oh my goodness, I love her. See, now I have to get my hair cut short so I can still look like my doll. Oh my goodness. I love it. <laughs> she is amazing. <laughs> oh, where can we put this girl? It's me. She even has on like a flannel. Oh, I gotta. Uh, let's see. We'll put her up there for now. Oh my goodness. You don't know how much I like that. Well, maybe you could tell. But she is so cool. Oh, this is neat too. Make sure I didn't miss anything. We have a moose with that Canadian flag on it. I'll get there one day. I don't think we can travel there yet, but I'll get there one day. Oh my goodness, though. Let's take another look at this girl. <laughs> you did such a good job. She is great. Pam, you are awesome. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Laura and Linda. She is so cute and you are so talented. I love it. <laughs> and the best part is you can tell that it's me. All right, we'll put her back there. Now I need, oh, what can I get for her? I was gonna say a little chair, a car. <laughs> I love it. Thank you so much. That was so nice of you. And last but certainly not least from Maryland out in another Fort Worth, Texas. Man, Texas, you are representing today. Oh boy. I'm gonna make sure my camera is still rolling. I think I have maybe 15 minutes of film left. He's mun munching on something. <laughs> That's a great photo. You can see like every hair on them. Dear Paper and Moose, my mother-in-law passed away three years ago and she had grown up during the depression. 
Needless to say, she saved everything. You are so correct on that. That's That was just one of the tendencies or the habits that, that formed during that time. My sister-in-law and I started going through the tubs during lockdown. What we didn't want of the ephemera, we cracked to make journals. Very fun. I still have to do that. I put aside for you. This is the first installment. I know I'm very, very, very late, Marilyn, in opening, opening your package, and I'm so, so, so sorry. But I kind of believe that every package has its own time that it should be opened. And some things I get at just the right time, so I think everything kind of works out. I enjoy watching your videos, especially when you go through the black trash bags. Everyone send your, your trash bag vibes that I come across another house because I miss it. I hope you enjoy going through what's in this box. Take care and say, stay safe from Marilyn in Fort Worth, Texas. Well, thank you so much, Marilyn. Alrighty. Maybe we can put this baby up here. Breeder's Digest. I used to read these. My parents got these and I would actually look through them all the time. We have a nice Santa. I think he's supposed to play music. Musical greetings. How much was this? A dollar five? Wow. They cost like eight bucks today. Oh my goodness. This is chock full. Let's open this one. Oh, pretty. Another Santa. The Collectors. Oh, this is a Lennox. Very nice green color. Very woodsman-y. There's a little bear in the back. Oh, this is cool. It's probably not the right word. Creator's Popcorn. And the best part is how nice of a shape that this is in so I can actually pop the box open. 1929. And use it as decor in my kitchen. Ooh, look how old that is. Marge Lee, Homer, is Homer, Pennsylvania. That is old. I'm going to have to look at some of the stuff off camera because I'm going to run out of a, <laughs> of a, of a, um, a video. SD card uh, room. St. Augustine, Texas telephone directories. Those are fun. This is amazing. Well, thank you to your your mother for saving all these things, though. I'm sure you know it was. It is a lot to go through everything. Granted, but sometimes it's also fun. And then you also wonder, like, why did you save this? But everyone has the reason, reasons. These are all marriage licenses from Texas. More Reader's Digest. I see some Christmas at the bottom. Look how cute this is. Dinner Bell Coffee. Look at the advertising. You can't beat it. Oh, this will look good on a shirt. The flag of our United States, presidents of the United States. 48 star banner do final flag day salute. Oh, look how nice that is. That needs a frame. For sure. Fort Worth will join the nation Sunday in a farewell flag day salute to the 48 star U.S. flag, which has become a familiar symbol of American freedom throughout the world. During its 47 year reign as a 48 star banner, more than 26, 26 million Americans have served in two world wars and the Korean conflict. Nearly 500,000 were killed in action and about 1,800,400 were wounded. Had the 48 star flag reigned one more year, its age would have matched the number of its stars. That's great. And I love that she saved that clipping with it, too. You know, it, it meant something to her. President of the United States. Oh, my goodness. 
all these things. Let's look at this guy. This one looks fun. Needles. Our club. Household gold eye needles. Look at this lady. They're all getting ready to sew. Such a, a handout, you know, advertising and needles. You could have a whole collection of needles, which I'm sure someone does. Christmas with a smiley face. These are great bags. See, perfect. Can go right in my Christmas decor. You have some nice Christmas postcards. This one's a reproduction, which is great. You can use some lovely Santas. These are from Hallmark. Another Hallmark card. This is Hallmark. Hallmark from the Hallmark Historical Collection. Oh, how nice. Oh my gosh. Is, this, is that um, W.C. Fields? It is. W.C. Fritos Pencil Topper. <laughs> I know some people in history. That's funny. Fritos. I haven't had them in a long time. Oh, cool. A Cabbage Patch Kids button. Button. Fair contract. Solidarity at, solidarity at Bell. Bell phone, I assume. Let's see what the bottom has for us. Ooh, these are old. <gasps> Printed in Germany. Well, she took amazing care of these things. Let me tell you, those are beautiful. These need a frame. Tour of East Texas with the Woodsman. We have some cute Christmas cutout, again, double-sided. A repro oh, 1987 Cream of Wheat collector's calendar. I think the Cream of Wheat Man is still around. The presidents. Ooh, a whole thing. Oh my goodness. Wow. I've never seen <laughs> this before. But, you know, to decorate for for 4th of July, I'm set. Right, George? <laughs> well, Marilyn, thank you so much. I, I can't thank you enough. And thank you and your patience. Um, of having me open this. I hope that it was worth the long, long wait. I think that it's appropriate. Now we have all these presidents and with everything going on with the election coming up, which may have happened once I record the video and all the Christmas that I can put out, all, all, all timing works out. I will have to go through more of the little bags and see what is there. I'm sure there are a lot more fun little pieces of ephemera. But thank you for thinking of me when you were going through the items. It is much appreciated and so thoughtful. And hopefully, I mean, if you found all these great things and sent to me, I'm sure that you must have found some really great items for yourself and for all of your scrapbooking and junk journaling needs. So, from Pam, from Pam and I, <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. I want to, we would like to thank all of you for everything that you have sent. Um, I cannot express all the kindness. I cannot express all that. I, I can't even talk. I can't get the words out of how just, how, how I truly appreciate all of you that like the videos, leave comments, and those that send all these wonderful items to me. You know, I, I can't express in words how how nice it is and how much I really truly do appreciate everything. So thank you for watching. Pam thanks you for watching. <laughs> Man, this girl, she is staying on my couch. <laughs> but yes, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this mail episode. Another one will be up in a few days and we'll see what other things we have in the mail. Don't think we're gonna find another you though. <laughs> All right, I gotta stop. I need to make some tea or have more of my tea and get some other work done. So thank you for watching. Hope you have a great day and I will see you all next time.